Hexel by ADSR is a MIDI sequencer and it's all about having a different, interesting way to create. But is this the best way to create patterns? Well, let me show you how it works. You use Hexel to trigger MIDI notes on a synth in your DAW. I'll use Massive X for this video. With this grid you create your sequences. You always start by placing an emitter node. This is the start point of every sequence you create. You see that the emitter emits notes based on whatever subdivisions you have selected here. Now to create the actual sequence, place a MIDI note. And you place that MIDI note on the path which is emitted for A node. These paths work like this. The path up are perfect fifths. To the right are major thirds. Left and up are minor thirds. If you go higher, pitch gets up. If you go down, pitch gets lower. The steps and paths are clearly visible and you place a note on this path, somewhere on a note. Outside these paths it will not play. And if you spread them between the paths, you get variations in the notes. Again, towards the bottom is lower pitch and towards the top is higher. Right now, this only goes one way. This is where these three tools come in play. Reverse lets the direction of the playback on a path go back, which is great for arpeggio creation. Redirect will change the path of the notes at random, or in a specific direction when you change it like this. Add notes on a new path, of course. And the playback on a certain path will stop with this one, until the sequence re-triggers. I already showed that you can set how many directions the redirection tool uses, and this is also true for the emitter node. So it defaults to 6, but you can also use one or more. Now you can use up to 6 emitters in Hexel in total, and that is more than plenty enough. I did notice that, especially after you change during playback, notes tend to start drifting at times. I have no nice segue into the sponsor part of this video, which is DistroKit, but here goes. If you need to split the revenue of your releases with multiple collaborators, DistroKit has splits. This enables you to, very simply, split the revenue you make. Add as many collaborators for a release you want and decide how much of the cake they get in percentages. On top of that you can set recoupments as well, so if you agree on a fixed fee instead of royalties, this is the way to do that. Get 7% off of your first year with DistroKit by using the link in the description. My only issue with the plugin is that the very first note you expect isn't played. That is the note you set with the emitter node. I don't know why, I double checked in logic with the audio unit plugin and it's the same there, so it seems intentional to me. If I have missed something here, let me know in the comments. You can add this one note manually in the mini track in your DAW though. My preferred workflow is to create an interesting sequence pattern with Hexel and record this on the mini track of the MIDI instrument you use Hexel for. That way you have all notes cemented and you can adjust whatever you want in that MIDI track and also add that missing first note. 
I really think Hexel by ADSR offers inventive, new, interesting ways to come up with melodies, sequences and arpeggios. If you are on the lookout for a MIDI sequencer, put this one on your shortlist. On the PC the plugin comes in VST3 only and on Mac it's a VST3 and audio unit. If you use any other format, you're out of luck. Or you need to run something like the Free Waves Studio Rack which will let you run VST3 plugins in any DAW and format it comes. Check it out in the video displayed on screen and linked in the description below.